Hey everybody, it's uh, CMikey420 back uh, just again here. Just got done finishing installing my touch kit uh, that I received uh, from eBay. Um, it's the one that's on MSIWind.net. Um, probably post this here shortly. Uh, took me probably about an hour and a half to two hours to get installed. However, I was being a little bit a little bit cautious. Um, one note though, I did have one minor. <laughs> Uh, casualty of war, so to say. Um, I'm gonna be fixing it. You'll see. Let me just, uh, oops, do that. Plug this here. You'll see down here, I kind of had a little issue with the end cap here. My other one's fine, but this one I broke, so I have to like, super glue it back together. However, um, monitor, everything seems to be fine. You'll notice it is flush. No uh, gaps. Um, so I just did my four point calibration already, which is I recommend you have to do right away and install the drivers, or else it will not work. Let me turn the light off here. So um, I'm running right now Vista too, so this will be an interesting. It's a much. I chose to go to Vista recently due to the fact that it's a much better OS for touch. And in that regard, I've been wanting to do this for a long time on a laptop. I have not ever used the origami experience ever. Oh, that's cool. Before I had it on my um on my HP, but it wasn't full screen because it didn't have a native widescreen resolution. So let's see here. Not bad response time. I mean. Again, the main thing is to install the driver. I had prior to not installing the driver, um, I couldn't. It was pretty unusable. It looked. I thought I installed it improperly. So before you think it's installed pro improperly, be sure to uh, install the driver kit, and then do a four-point calibration on it. And they also recommend another uh, calibration too. Uh, it's the um, yeah, it's got quite a few uh, options. I'm pretty impressed with it. The install went pretty smooth too, so. Um, driver had Linux. See, I mean, the response rate, not too bad. It's easier with a stylus, though, since it's not a capacitive touch screen. It's resistance or four wire one. But, you know, not too shabby for a little netbook running it. So I'll throw uh, OS X up here shortly too and uh, post that in a second too. For now, I just uh, thought I'd give people a note that yes, it works, it is solderless, and this still works nicely. So, here you go. Peace.